let us study polarization consider holding a long string that is held horizontally and is fixed at the other end if we move the end of the string up and down in a periodic manner we will generate a wave propagating in the plus x direction such a wave can be described by the following equation y in terms of x comma t equals a sin kx minus omega t here a and omega where omega is equal to 2 pi r represents the amplitude and angular frequency of the wave respectively also wavelength lambda equals 2 pi divided by k since the displacement which is along the y direction is at right angles to the direction of propagation of the wave we have what is known as the transverse wave also as the displacement is in the y direction it is often referred to as a y polarized wave since each point on the string moves on a straight line the wave is also called linearly polarized wave further the string always remains confined to the xy plane and therefore it is also referred to be a plane polarized wave we can consider the vibration of the string in the xz plane generating a z polarized wave the displacement of two wave will be given by z in terms of xt equals a sin kx minus omega t it should be mentioned that the linearly polarized waves are all transverse by nature that is the displacement of each point of the string is always at right angles to the direction of propagation of the wave.